Alright. Hello everyone, Overcord95, The Wandering Knight here, and welcome to Getting Over with Bennett Foddy. I know every YouTuber in the world has done this game already. That's why I'm doing it anyways. <laughs> no, but, uh, I'm still playing around with my recording and my, uh, live streaming stuff. It's part of the reason why there hasn't been any episodes on top of work and a bunch of other stuff. Um, I'm gonna get this recorded. This is being recorded late Saturday night. I'm gonna post it up today, Sunday, because I'm going to a Magic uh, pre-release event today. So I will not be able to do stuff till later in the evening, which will be a PlayStation live stream. Uh, I'm also going to days again on my work schedule, so I will be putting stuff during the day again instead of the night. Hopefully you guys can watch. It might be actually during days, it might be more PC stuff where I can take the time, record early in the morning, edit, post it midday-ish. So, might be more PC during the days, and then during the nights it'll be more uh, PlayStation stuff like that. We'll see how that works. It'll change as I need it to. But other than that, let's get started. I know this is supposed to be the inf most infuriating game of the world, and ever, and all time, and everything, and I'm going to try it, and I'm going to cry. Oh, you react to the mouse. That's not a good thing. Get mm. the tree. Yes, I have watched some of the YouTubers play this game. That's how I found it. So forgive me if I need, seem to know what I'm doing a little bit at the beginning. I'm sure it's going to change very quickly. No, that's not what I want you to do. That's nah, not either. Oh, you are a wiggly bitch. Not what I wanted to do. Oh, this reacts so weird. There's no feeling more intense than starting over. Shut the fuck up! If you deleted your homework the day before it was due, as I have, or if you left your wallet at home and you have to go back after spending an hour in the commute, if you won some money at the casino and then put all your winnings on red but it came up black, <laughs> If you got your best shirt dry cleaned before a wedding and then immediately dropped food on it. If you won an argument with a friend and then later discovered that they just returned to their original view. Starting over is harder than starting up. If you're not ready for that, like if you've already had a bad day, then what you're about to go through might be too much. Feel free day. to go away and come back. No! I'll be here. Oh, I am glad that I got up. Alright. Thanks for coming with me on this trip. Fuck you. I'll yeah. understand if you have to take a break Shut at any up point. For a minute. Just find a safe place to stop and quit the game. And don't worry, I'll save your progress always, even your mistakes. Mm. Okay, so Whoop. I got a new mouse, Whoop. and I'm glad I did because mm. my base one is already a bitch, a bitch and a half to deal with anyways. This game is a homage to a free game that came out in 2002 titled Sexy Hiker. Mm. The author of that game was Jazzer, a mysterious Czech designer who was known at the time as the father of B-games. And B-games are rough assemblages of found objects. Designers slap them together very quickly and freely, and they're often too rough and unfriendly to gain much of a following. They're built more for the joy of building them than as polished products. In a certain way, Sexy Hiking is the perfect embodiment of a B-game. It's built almost entirely out of found and recycled parts, and it's one of the most unusual and unfriendly games of its time. In it, your task is simply to drag yourself up a mountain with a hammer. And that act of climbing, in the digital world or in real life, has certain essential properties that give the game its flavor. No amount of forward progress is guaranteed. Some cliffs are too sheer or too slippery, and the player is constantly, unremittingly in danger of falling and losing everything. You done? You're actually more distracting than you're worth. <clears throat> Darn it. Sometimes I get good bounces and other times I get little bitchy <clears throat> little baby bounces. Alright, my goal for now 
since I know this game. I don't know the end screen. That's the one thing I haven't looked because I felt like I should do that myself. Oh. And I won't show it to you guys either. I'll show you my reaction to it, but I won't show you guys. Play the game for yourself because this game is going to kill me. Whoop. Um, my goal right now is to get up to the cliffside. Maybe I'm secretly amazing at this game and I'll clear it in one fell swoop. But I doubt it highly. I'm not used to PC gaming. Controlling with a mouse is a pain in the ass to me. That was not what I did at all. Would you... Oh, come on, you coffee cup of bitchiness. No. Oh. oh, you just lost a lot of progress. That's a deep frustration. A I real will, punch in the gut. I will punch you in the gut, Bennett Foddy. I will find you and punch you in the gut. <clears throat> to do shit. Anyway, when you start sexy hiking, you're standing next to this dead tree that blocks the way to the entire rest of the game. It might take you an hour to get over that tree, and a lot of people never got past it. You prod and you poke at it, exploring the limits of your reach and your strength, trying to find a way up and over. And there's a sense of truth in that lack of compromise. Most obstacles in video game worlds are fake. You can be completely confident in your ability to get through them once you have the correct method or the correct equipment or just by spending enough time. In that sense, every pixelated obstacle in sexy hiking is real. Mm. Okay, how do I get past this one? Oof, oh. sorry about that. Oh, you... Come on! Don't get frustrated. That's the one rule. You cannot get frustrated with this game, otherwise it will beat you. I'm also doing this at like 3 in the morning. So, forgive me if I don't decide to scream my head off. No, no, no. That's my own fault. I had gotten there and I was... Getting greedy. Mm. Mm. Calm the fuck down. Mm. That was not what I wanted. Why is there a van there? Whoop. <sighs> okay. Okay. Alright. Fuck oh, yes. If you need to take a break, it's okay. No. I've saved your progress. Oh. How about you shut the fuck up? I will get up this area, goddammit. I know I can. I'm at least that skilled in a, a gamer. Mm. 
Oh, 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 take a breath, 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 take a breath. All right. Also, just as an in general, let me know about the mic stuff because right now I have it not that far away from my face. Um, I lowered the gain because I did notice it was a little loud last time. Um, but let me know if I need to do any changes or stuff like that. I want it to be well, you guys can at least not have me shouting in your ear every second of every hour. All right. Mm. <laughs> okay. Okay, right there. Not push that way, but okay. It'd be better to go that way. No, I think I can make that jump. The obstacles in sexy hiking are unyielding, Shut and that you. makes the game uniquely frustrating. But I'm not sure Jazuo intended to make a frustrating game. The frustration is just essential to the act of climbing, and it's authentic to the process of building a game about climbing. A funny thing happened to me as I was building this mountain. I'd have an idea for a new obstacle, and I'd build it, test it, and it would usually turn out to be unreasonably hard. But I couldn't bring myself to make it easier. It already felt like my inability to get past the new obstacle was my fault as a player rather than as a builder. Imaginary mountains build themselves from our efforts to climb them, and it's our repeated attempts to reach the summit that turns those mountains into something real. I will punch you in the face. I don't know how to get past this. I don't remember how people did it before. When you're building a video game world, you're building with ideas. And that can be like working with quickset cement. You mold your ideas into a certain shape that can be played with. And in the process of playing with them, they begin to harden and set until they're immutable, like rock. And at that point, you can't change the world. Not without breaking it into pieces and starting fresh with new ideas. Okay, but how do I get past this thing? I don't know how to get past this. Because you can't simultaneously lift it and I have to get the jump in, but I can't get the jump in right. What was that? Why, why did you do that thing? My lord, no. Okay, there's a lip there. That's what I gotta catch there. To get up here, I have to get there. So I have to do it from like, from like here. What the hell was that? That was like the babiest of baby jumps. Ah! Oh. I want to just get that. I just want to get up that. Okay. okay. Okay, I can work with that. Okay. 
Okay, I can work with this. Come on. I got it. I got it. I don't know how I got it, but I got it. Wasn't it going for the jump? I was going, I was prepping for a jump right then. What? I didn't do that motion. the game. I will eat your brains. I'm sure there's not much in there, but I will find them, and I will make a little morsel out of them. I really don't. Mm. Unless that was how. Mm. No! Grab the freaking lantern area! Mm. You've done this part before. You no, know it's possible. It, Just do what you did the before. first time. Fuck off, you bitch! find you and I will make you eat your own teeth now be a good little cauldron boy and jump swing swing land okay good boy I'll take that it's not exactly where I wanted to go but I'll take it now get the fuck up here down good lunch swing didn't make it quite far. No, come on. Grapple your way up there. Alright. Next. Okay. Lunch. No. Not what I wanted. Go that way. Okay. I can live with that. Good boy. Okay. What was that little bitch of a jump? Go that way. <laughs> All right. Carefully. <sighs> okay. Did anybody else see that? It went through the goddamn light. Getting frustrated. 
frustrated. was a super jump. Could you do that again? When I need you to? <laughs> You've done this part before. Get oh. Oh. <laughs> I don't know how that worked, but okay. I just want to get up this shaft. My microphone in rage. I don't have things to throw. All of my stuff is expensive and I don't have extra money. I should really invest in a pillow. Okay, good. Good boy. Why couldn't it be like an axe? You know, something that can carve into stuff. Fuck you, I will beat this game. Mostly because everyone else has. Sure. Also, Black Clover shirt, yay. Pick up mouse, shift mouse down slightly. All right. <clears throat> I was resting there for a moment. <clears throat> I'm not present enough. <sighs> All right. No, no, that's that's fine. I can work with that spot. <clears throat> How did I do it though? I don't think that's where that was to I didn't let up the pressure that I was giving I don't know why I fell Like The physics decide they don't want to work sometimes Jump though, that's the thing. The angle I need is such a weird spot. Okay, I saw, I saw what I did there. That one I understood at least. I should 
shouldn't go for that. I really shouldn't go for that. Oh, come on. That was not what I did. <laughs> I almost had it. Oh, for the love of God, I don't want to end it here. I want to get up one more segment. That worked out. Better. I will murder you. Stop staring at the hammer. Okay, okay, okay. I swung it high. It should have fucking hit. <clears throat> what I need to do is somehow get myself to rest on that light. I think if I got there, I'd be fine. Okay, I caught myself on that when I saw that. No, but not horrible. No, don't let go. Don't. <clears throat> Damn it. I almost had it. I almost got it. God! Mother! Grip! Grip! You're a goddamn sledgehammer! Do you understand how heavy and hard those things are to move? Even if it's an eight pounder, that thing should be boom! With that much force into the ground. I don't care if it's stone, it would catch on some shit. Do you understand what a sledgehammer is? It breaks stone. Oh my god. I will eat you. I will devour you. And then you will literally mm. become what you are. Shit. Oh my god, I almost made, I could have made I could have made that. If I had done that just right, I could have made that. <clears throat> you whore of a game. That was not what I did. Yes, I'm using a corded mouse.
The game just decides that I did these certain- like, I didn't do that. I did not give that much motion to the mouse. You know what? All right. I'll try and record this again next time with when I can maybe go a little farther because this is getting to a point where I'm going to start yelling at the game. Just get up there, please. <sighs> all right. All right, you know what? I'm stopping there. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you liked it. If you want to leave me some likes, some comments, and if you want to subscribe, please do. I'm going to be doing more individual, unique PC stuff soon. I actually have something interesting. I want to send somebody an email and check first before I do anything, but it should be pretty cool if I can get it okayed. Um, but other than that, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you liked it. Have a good night and good morning wherever you are. <laughs>